All right, so the plan was to start working on the other white truck, the white diesel today. Well, in the next video, but that's not going to happen. It's not going to be till Monday till we get inspection done. So we're going to start next week. So I'm going to take that time to catch up on some shit I've been putting off. Uh, first things first is on this 2005 1500 with a 47, the small V8. It's uh, kind of a turd, but it's very convenient with the eight foot bed and the cap. This truck amazingly has 252,000 miles on it. And it just starts right up. It, I haven't had it that awful long, but I can't say it's cost me anything. I put exhaust manifold gaskets on it. Uh, a couple of the studs had snapped, left-handed drill bit. They walked right out, replaced them, and the bushings for the four-wheel drive. So it's been uh, it's been a good truck to have, especially this winter. The wheels and tires are actually off of the blue truck. That's why it has. Those cruddy looking steel wheels on it. But I put these on for inspection this year and just left left them on through the winter. So, but today what we're gonna be doing is some front end work to this. I'll be honest, I have never really worked on the front end of an independent front suspension Dodge. So everything else I have is solid axles. So anyway, we're gonna be doing some uh, uh, sway bar bushings. And we're also gonna be doing and this is from Rock Auto. Some wheel bearings. You know, it's a whole unit assembly like most of your wheel bearings today. So, we're going to be doing that. Um, like you can see from the box, I got Timken. Wheel bearings really aren't something you want to skimp on. You don't want to just buy. I saw them on Amazon for a pair for like $79. The warranty's good for a year. And if you get a year out of those wheel bearings, I... Imagine you'd be doing pretty good. So uh, we'll get started. This will be a little bit of a learning process. I've never actually done it, but it still shouldn't be too awful hard, I hope. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad tonight, I don't have a job to find. And if I work tonight, if I'm so tired tonight, I'll fall asleep when I'm on. When So what I did here was I had to break loose the top ball joint. Um, you just unthread the nut. Ooh, looked like it never had a cotter pin in it. We'll try and get one back in it. But anyway, undid the nut a little bit. Whale on it a little bit. Didn't take much. Uh, looks like this thing was well, well kept. There's a lot of grease. We'll clean all that up. We'll actually grease it while we have everything out and it's easy to get to. I think while the ball joint's disconnected too, we can do this sway bar link. But... Anyhow, I had to disconnect that in order to get enough room to get this CV axle off of this joint. I'm just going to let it rest there for now. It shouldn't harm what we're doing. Just need to open my eyes now To try to change them to sunshine To be someone among others I've got to try to leave
so we still have to torque our hub which we will do here shortly I put the sway bar bushing in this link bushing while we are in here grease the upper and lower ball joints our hub is firmly seated back against the transfer case and our bearing is in and nice and tight now I always put our my caliper on the uh, five gallon bucket here so we have plenty of slack but that didn't we got a little uh, brake leak so I'm going to investigate that further I it's probably just all rusty so I don't know we're probably going to I don't know what we're going to need that might be that looks like it's part of the hose so we might be fucked all right so uh my further investigation is complete I pulled it off yeah it's rusted the shit it just broke right off of there so um yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do um, I don't know if that's part of the hose or what. I definitely need to get something to catch this fluid because we're going to lose all of it. But yeah, it is bad looking. All right, so this job got a little bigger. All right, so we're kind of fucked on that brake line. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to try and finish the other wheel bearing um, and the sway bar bushings. And that way, if we break anything else, uh, maybe tonight there is an advanced auto close. So maybe if they have the part, we'll go pick it up and get it. Uh, if not, we'll just let all the brake fluid drain out of it and park it for now and uh, wait till we can get the part. But uh, if we can get it tonight, I'll, I'd like to do that. Just have everything wrapped up. But uh, so here's wheel bearing. or uh, Well, here's the passenger side. time getting that axle off the transfer case so what I'm gonna try and do is see if I can drop this ball joint this upper ball joint like we did the other side and get it out that way and just get it out of the hub here um, they do make a pull where you can rent for like AutoZone or something it's a slide hammer with like a collar so I don't want to go that route I'm kind of I, I can we're gonna get it and so I think we drop this ball joint, we'll have enough room to do it. So that's our plan now. <laughs> Success! Alright. It's a little harder to get to the bolts, but not a big deal. Uh, yeah, I need a brake hose. What for? Uh, 2005, 
uh, Dodge Ram 1500. Four seven or five seven? Four seven. Driver's side. Uh, Two-wheel ABS or four-wheel ABS? Two-wheel ABS. That's what I got. $39.49. All right. Uh, when do you guys have to tell? 9 o'clock. All right. I'll be in. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. video there we'll do the uh, brake line tomorrow bleed all the brakes I'll show you how you can do that by yourself um, we'll finish our little trek home I put the front wheels onto the truck and just backed it outside real quick so I sh could shut the door so once we get our brakes uh, brake line in brakes bled all that good stuff then we can uh, apply the brakes and torque down the wheel bearings to their appropriate torque. I think it's 177 foot pounds. But uh, that'll be it. See you on the next one.